air leak on a chest tube can be continuous or intermittent and it's important to be able to determine what the cause of the air leak is, what's normal and what's not normal. So I'm gonna talk about all of these things. First, what an air leak is, is you will see bubbling in the water seal chamber. If you don't know where that is, this is the water seal chamber right here. So if you're seeing bubbling in this chamber, that means that there is air getting into this system. A continuous air leak usually means one of two things. One is if you just had a chest tube that was placed for a pneumothorax, AKA a collapsed lung, and you're putting the chest tube in to help re-expand that lung, you will see continuous bubbling initially after that chest tube is placed because all of that extra air that is in that pneumothorax is escaping into the chest tube when the lung is re-expanding. That is normal, that is expected. We want to see bubbling in the water seal chamber after a chest tube is placed for a pneumothorax. This should resolve over time, meaning that it should get less frequent and maybe more intermittent and eventually just taper off altogether. Um, so if you have not had a continuous bubbling in your water seal chamber for days after the chest tube is placed and suddenly you do have a bunch of bubbling in your water seal chamber, it's important to troubleshoot why. Typically, this is caused from some sort of air leak in the system. You may have a loose connection. There may be a little puncture somewhere in the tubing. Maybe you need to adjust the dressing. Maybe you need to reposition your patient. So continuous bubbling, either just place for a pneumothorax or you have an air leak somewhere and you need to troubleshoot your system. Intermittent bubbling is typically just an intermittent air leak, meaning that maybe your patient just coughed suddenly and a bunch of air went in there. Uh, maybe they were repositioned, you stood them up, you set them down, you turned them, or you may have a positional air leak that you need to troubleshoot in your system. Those are typically the things that I see for air leaks and what I do to determine the cause and the troubleshooting. Let me know if you have any more questions. I'm happy to talk more about it.